Okay, are we on? Yes. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm I'm not into videos. I I don't know how to make videos. I don't know how to put all the sound and all the photos and all that stuff in there. I'm just just this is just an informational video for Sony Sony users. Sony Sony users only. And what I have here is um, I have the 360X from Cheetah Light. It is a Nikon version 360 uh, by Godox. I also have the Godox 362 Canon version. And I also have the um, TT-685 flash for Sony users. All these are for Sony. And over here we have the, um, the manual 600X. You know it as an AD-600 or Explorer or whatever it's called. Same flash. But what I wanted to go over. And I also have the um, X1T Sony trigger. It is used to fire all these flash. All these flash here. This is the Sony version. This is the Nikon version, and this is the Canon version, and I'll show you how the, these work after this. But this is the Sony version, of course, so we'll turn it on here. Right now I have it all set on TTL, and if I fire, they all fire. So, and as you can see here, on the display, it does have Sony on it. Let me see if I can zoom in there, if you can see that. It has Sony on the display. Um, the only the only one that doesn't have it is the TT685. The other ones do display Sony on it. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. Okay, there we are. So this is the Sony version here. If I press the button, you see there's Sony on there. If I grab a Nikon, we turn it on here. Well, I had all these on. Okay, power up, sync. It changes to Nikon. Again, Nikon. And if I grab the Canon version, press the button, it turns to Canon. It changes to Canon. You can't use these. If I go close like this, it will not fire. So you have to make sure that you're away from the. Uh, extra flash to fire these because of the 2.4 um, radio frequencies they won't fire up close and again here's the Sony and it changes to Sony so I guess the key is into the trigger that is the key to all this and it works great um, let's zoom out here okay cool um, this is my um, a72, Sony A72. Let's mount this thing up here. See, see how it works here. I'm just going to use one flash. Um, I'm on A, so we'll use A. A is here. We'll turn this one off, and we'll turn this one off. And I'll show you how TTL works. Right now, I'm in aperture priority at 5.0, and oh, one six sixty of a second, and it works perfect. Now let's just bump up the, uh, let's go to manual, there we are, uh, manual let's bump it up to 400 of a second and, and this is probably going to be overexposed because we're very close here, we're at 400 a second, 2.5, ISO 50 and there we are, as you can see it is perfectly exposed on my camera. It may look a little overexposed on the on it on your screen, on my screen there. But um, let's just take it back down to one sixty sixtieth of a second. Uh, let's see if we can get in here and zoom in again. Perfect exposure. There we are. Perfect exposure. So. And that's with the Nikon version. It works equally well with the Canon version or the dedicated 685 here. I mean, all these, they just, they just, they just work. Don't ask me how. But, uh, they work, they work without fail. So let's, uh, let's turn these off and bring out the big 600 real quick. 
Uh, someone was asking me about this cable here. It is called, uh, I think it's called a two-in-one cable, Y cable, whatever it's called. What it does, it actually cuts the recycle time in half. So it is incredibly, anything under one half power, it's just almost instantaneous recycle time. So uh, this is a good cable to have. Uh, I think it runs about 18 or 19 dollars on Amazon. I'll post a link at the bottom. But um, it's a great cable to have. Uh, this one here, of course, is 600 watt. Um, again, it does the same thing. It is this one is the manual version. There is the uh, TTO version out. Uh, I think Anaroma has has that one. Um, again, it fires. If I turn it on. There we are. It fires. It also fires with the um, the cannon trigger. And it turns to C up here. Nikon trigger. It'll turn to N. Again, the Sony. If we can get Sony working. Oh, and there we are. It turns to S. So. All this whole host Godex system works flawlessly with the A6000, the A72, the A7R2. It all works works good. So, um, if you have any questions about any of these flash systems, just um, post a a comment, and I'll try to get back with you. Um, it works for me. It's new, so um, like I say, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know and I'll try to help you out.